I'm Zoe and these are my top 10 best movies to watch on Valentine's Day. So if you haven't got any plans this year, why not curl up on the couch with a lovely romantic movie with your partner, with friends or even your favourite bottle of wine. Now I've tried to avoid all the sort of standard soppy classics that we all know and love so these are my personal favourites leading up to the ultimate love story guaranteed to fill the air with romance. Starting with number 10. Green card. The length some people will go to for a green card, oh my god. Gerard Depardieu, Andy McDowell, you couldn't find two people more different and they're thrown together. It's amazing to just see the magic unfold. And if you've already seen this film, oh my god, the piano scene is just brilliant. Gerard Depardieu is absolutely hilarious. It's the kind of film you can just watch over and over again and it always leaves you smiling. True Romance. Alabama and Clarence. Not since Bonnie and Clyde have two people been so good at being bad. Classic Lovers on the Run movie written by Tarantino, directed by Tony Scott and all the music's composed by one of my favourites, Hans Zimmer. So if you want to step away from that Valentine's Day cheese, this is a great choice. Patricia Arquette and Christian Slater are on fire in this movie. Stealing, killing, cheating, who said romance is dead? Nights in Rodanthe. Oh, I love the Nicholas Sparks movie. This one is more of a mature love story, unlike his others, which seem to be aimed at a slightly younger audience. So we've got Richard Gere, Diane Lane, both very, very watchable in this film. The chemistry between them is fantastic. So it's all set in this gorgeous inn on the ocean that Diane Lane is running, and Richard Gere is the only guest, and there's this huge storm, and they're sort of forced to hang out with each other and ride it out. And if you're a Diane Lane fan, I really recommend the movie Unfaithful, where she teams up with Richard Gere again, and it's definitely one to check out. Brilliant film. Last Night. Well, we've just got to have one from the 80s in here and not many people have seen this one. So you've got Demi Moore, Rob Lowe, James Bellucci. This is much less gushier than all the others. It's a very modern style, realistic portrayal of the ups, downs and challenges that you face when you're falling in love. Very funny, very, very sexy and Rob Lowe and Demi Moore are gorgeous in this film. The American President. Why can't the most powerful man in the whole world have the one thing that he desires the most? Romance. This is a comedy drama about a widow, US president, and a lobbyist who fall in love. It's an absolute 90s gem. Irresistibly witty, charming, with some politics thrown in. Serendipity. You don't have to understand, you just have to have faith. This is a truly uplifting and magical love story, all set in New York, about leaving things down to fate. John Cusack and Kate Beckinsale are fantastic together. I've probably seen this movie over 10 times and I never ever get bored of it. One fine day. What would you do if I kissed you right now? You wouldn't kiss me, but what would you do if I did? Do you want to kiss me right now? I wouldn't have mentioned it if I didn't. Ah, oh, some of my favourite scenes in this film. I just love this movie. It's a real all-rounder, very uplifting, romantic, funny, great script. Michelle Pfeiffer and George Clooney are great together and the kids are so cute. And again, it's just the kind of film you can just watch over and over. Sense and Sensibility. Jane Austen has to be the queen of romantic novels and this movie is proof of that. Very emotionally heartwarming, an absolute classic. Some of our finest British actors, including Hugh Grant, Emma Thompson, Kate Winslet, and the late Alan Rickman, directed by Ang Lee. And it's all set in the absolutely stunning English countryside, which is a beautiful place to visit. Beauty and the Beast. Oh my God, I feel like bursting into song right now. But I won't, don't worry. This one is for the children in us all. One of my favourite animations, it's timeless, it's a classic, a very, very touching story. You just totally fall in love with the beast. And did you know that this was the first ever animation to win an Oscar for Best Picture? And it's being remade in 2017 with Emma Watson and Dan Stevens. Can't wait for that. And here it is, folks, our ultimate Valentine's Day love fest. 
Have you guessed what it is yet? Okay, I'll give you a little clue. Did my heart love till now? For swear at sight, for I never saw true beauty till this night. You got it! It's of course Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet. A beautiful modernization of the classic Shakespeare play, this movie gave Leo the ultimate heartthrob status and it launched the lovely Claire Danes onto our big screens. Baz Luhrmann's masterful direction gave this film such a powerful, wacky, creative and dramatic impact. The soundtrack is awesome, it's perfectly cast, top performances all round and just pure genius. A Valentine's Day must, guys. Okay, and that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching my top 10 Valentine's Day movies. I hope you all have a great one, whatever you do. And please subscribe to my channel. There's loads more videos coming. And I'll catch you all soon. Bye.